Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a weekly for April 8th through the 14th. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And if you have Virgo in your seventh house, which is your relationship house, you know that this reading might be for you as well. If you don't know uh, what your where your, where your, what sign is in your seventh house, you can go to. Um, cafeastrology.com and put in the information put in your birth information and get that information anyway your seventh house is your relationship house so if you are asking about a relationship then you that's what you probably want to watch or a venus sign anyway this is for virgo sun moon rising venus in your seventh house okay if you have virgo in your seventh house for the week of april 8th through the 14th Looks as to me, it looks to me as though you guys are making some sort of decision. You're seeing something clearly, completely clearly. I feel like you guys are thinking about going down a new path. You may be receiving a message that leads you down a new path. You may be traveling to a new destination, broadening your horizons. You may be coming out of a period of stagnation by the looks of things. I feel like you've been in an unhappy state of mind. You may be feeling like there was nothing to celebrate, but that's kind of in the past, okay? I think you guys have made a decision to go within and to follow your truth, to follow your true power, okay? To take the power in your own hands and really broaden your horizons. I feel like you guys are finding that, like a renewed focus, okay? A renewed focus to just do something different, okay? I think you guys are taking action, absolutely taking action. I think you've cheated yourself. You have cheated yourself. You may have been dealing with a deceptive situation where there was some lies. Maybe there was some betrayal. I feel like you may there may have been some hidden agendas in the mix. There could have been somebody that was going through a repression. You may have felt like you lost yourself. You know, You felt like you lost yourself for a minute there. But I feel like right now you're taking back your power. It's like, I'm ready. I'm ready to start over. I am ready to learn new things. I'm ready to take a new approach. I don't know. I'm ready to find wish fulfillment. I'm ready to feel alive again and let go of my old ways. I feel like you guys are taking steps in a new direction. I think yet that you are taking action, and it's pretty quick action. I think that you are just like, you know what? I'm not going to betray myself. I'm not going to lie about this. I'm not going to allow myself to be deceived and to stay in this state of mind anymore. I feel like you guys all of a sudden get this epiphany, right? You get this clarity that says, you know what? It's time for me to, to take another step. It's time for me to make a move. And that's what I think that you're going to do. I feel like you, you're you probably um, moving forward very, very quickly. Okay? You are. You're moving forward quickly. You're taking action. I feel that you may have, you may be shutting down somebody emotionally. You may be shutting down an offer. You may be shutting down another person. You may be um, not focusing on um, building a relationship like you were before. Maybe maybe you were invested in a relationship and all of a sudden it's like, you know what? No, I'm going to work on me right now. I'm taking action. That could be That's for somebody, not everybody. I feel like you may have been, somebody has been dealing with... Uh, somebody that didn't have any follow through, right? And I think you've come to the realization that you're dealing with somebody who has no intention of uh, following through with love, okay? For some of you, it's like you 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 may be like there's no relationship growth here. There's no relationship going to come out of this. I've been cheating myself, you know? So some of you are probably deciding, you know what? You're going to you're heading out. You're heading out of that situation. Um this is this is finding the backbone to refocus so I think that you are about to refocus on your own wish fulfillment it's like you know what I'm not gonna let this keep me repressed I'm not gonna let this keep me stuck I'm gonna stop deceiving myself and, and come out of this period of waiting I'm not gonna wait anymore that's what I see it's like I'm done waiting I'm done waiting I feel as though you guys are absolutely taking action in a new direction 
Yep. I think your heart is telling you to do so. Self-love. I'm going to love myself enough. You know, I'm going to nurture myself. My intuition is telling me that there's more to love than this. And I think that your intuition is really speaking to you at this time. You're highly intuitive, psychic at this time. Your psychic abilities are probably, you know, on high alert. You know, you're you're vibrating at a high uh, high level, so you're receiving messages. That's what I'm trying to say. I feel like you guys are probably in no rush. I feel like you're in no hurry to This is no hurry. There's some sort of no hurry to release a foundation that is not stable. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny oh my god anyhow for some of you I think that you you may feel like you know your energy has been drained I feel like you're working on healing from a situation right now you may not be wanting to get into a relationship you may be shutting down a potential relationship you may be just like putting it at a halt because I think you've decided to move in a new direction for some of you I feel like you got, I mean, the Nine of Swords is releasing. It is releasing. It's releasing anxiety. It's releasing fear. It's getting out of that repression that you've been in. I think that you have been in a period of basically, you know, a loss of self. And it's like, I can't hold on to this, this false structure within my, that's not who I am. It's not, this isn't who I am. It's like that, that's all false. It's not who you are. And I think you come to this realization that that is false. That's not who I am. It's like this newfound self-love. Okay. I feel like we have a, we have a old you that is breaking down and you are about to rebuild the new you, whatever that means. I feel as though you guys are about to start with a clean slate because that's what the tower does. The tower comes in and removes something that no longer serves you so that you can rebuild. So I feel like you're, there's a release here. There is some sort of release of a situation that was harming you in some way. And I feel like you're in no rush to you know, get into anything new right now because you've been through some sort of upheaval in your life. So I see a lot of self-love, a lot of self-nurturing, uh, a, a time of tranquility after going through a stressful situation of some sort. I feel as though you're bringing closure to a situation right now, a false foundation, a false structure. You're bringing closure to the situation and, you know, you're starting to feel um, relief. You're starting to feel more alive again. You're starting to feel more at peace with who you are because you're, you're going down your own path. And I feel like you're starting new things that are probably forcing you to learn new ways. And these things are... are rebuilding your character it's like you're becoming a new person you know what i'm saying anyway i feel like right now yeah you guys are are a change it's almost like a fate a change in in um family dynamics here as well with the ten of pentacles it's like this is ten of pentacles reverse this is like turning away from from family perhaps i'm just being honest with you maybe you're maybe you're 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 closing out some family issues maybe there's an end of a family dynamic that is um allowing you to start over okay i i see change here I see change with that. There's change. And I think that you're going to have to adapt. You're going to have to be flexible. And I think that what's happened is, is there's a sudden change. I think there's a sudden change in family. This is sudden. Okay. There's, this is a sudden change. Okay. There is a sudden. This is a sudden change. Okay. In a family dynamic at home or, you know, with your immediate family or who knows what. Something. You know, something could be at your job, though, with the Ten of Pentacles. It could be at your job. It could be something, you know, that it was once stable. I think there's, there's, it's not stable anymore. It's been, it's breaking down. It's breaking down, but it's break, because this is always a blessing in disguise. It's breaking down to bring you down that new path. So I think that you guys are going to get some sort of a wake-up call with some sort of 
breakdown, breakthrough uh, event that happens that changes your direction. So I, I feel like you are probably, you may feel like you can't master your emotions at this time, even though, you know, you may be able to master them. But then again, you know, there it could be an emotional time as well. You may feel like, you know, you, you can't, you just need to be alone. You need to go within. I feel like you you may want to retreat, even though I don't have the hermit card. You are the hermit. You may feel like you need to retreat. There's nothing, you know, there's nothing. Right now, you may feel like it's not a joyful period. i got to be honest with you, because you're going within to figure out, you know, your next step. So, I, I, anyway, Virgo, I feel as though you guys are, you're ending a significant dynamic in your life and I think it does have to do with your family or your job if something is coming to an end that has impacted you for a long time and I feel like this is all happening so that you can start over it's the universe saying it's time it's time to release it's time to you know let go of this negative energy this negative whatever it is it's time for you to stop being held back by this situation that doesn't really serve you so anyway I feel like you're headed towards happier times you're headed towards wish fulfillment you're coming out of a period of, of stagnation in which you've been in for quite some time maybe this has been going on for the last four years maybe you've been stuck for the last four years and you know it's like time it's time to live again it's time to wake up it's time to come out of this this period and you know start to rebuild your life and who you are you know to fit your needs right anyway i think yeah this is releasing this is releasing the the past it is three of swords reverse this is it's time to leave the past hurts behind you're on the path to recovery and i think that's where you're at and therefore i mean if you're asking about a relationship here i really feel like you know There's no hurry. There's no hurry for it. I feel like there's no hurry. I feel like there's really actually, and there may not be a desire. There may not be a desire because you're working on yourself right now. I see self-love. I see independence. I see taking care of me. I see taking care of business. I see going through an awakening, a spiritual awakening. So I really feel like right now you guys are becoming more comfortable with your own path and you're broadening your horizons in a completely new, completely new direction. I do feel like the universe is at work here and they have removed something or they're going to remove something from your life that is no longer stable, solid, and secure. It's not. It's not. It's false. It's not. It's not. It's not. I know a lot of people are in denial and they don't want to hear that. They don't want to face their fears and they don't want to be alone and you know what the universe says and you know. This isn't real. It's not stable. It's not solid. It's going to break down anyway. What are you waiting for? So anyway, Virgo, I feel as though this is a time of recovery. You may <clears throat> be emotional this week. You may feel some emotions. You may feel a little lost because you're going through such a big change in your life. That's what I see. There's a big change here. You may, I mean, the, the high priestess reverse is feeling a little lost, a little empty, a little time of repression, you know. And I feel, I feel that's all happening, believe it or not, for a reason. Because you are being called to go down that new path, to do what's right for you. And for a lot of you, you, you tend to put other people before you, people in your family, right? You tend to put the family before you because that you're the nurturer, right? You are. And I feel as though, you know, the universe says, you know, you gotta take care of you, you gotta take care of you, you gotta take care of you, you gotta take care of you. So I feel like there could be a painful release here that you've been trying to avoid, but you can't avoid it anymore. I feel as though a decision is absolutely going to be made and you're going to have to, there's, there's no more illusion about it. It's like, 
It's clear. It's clear. Some sort of clarity is coming that is going to show open a new pathway. Okay? <laughs> Taurus. You could be dealing with a Taurus, right? You could be. This could have to do with a marriage. It could have to do with a commitment. But, the, but in all reality, this has to do with... I mean, the Hierophant is believing in yourself and following your own path and listening to your inner guide and having faith and trust that... Whatever is meant to be is meant to be. You know, you guys may have been staying in a false foundation or a false commitment because of legal issues, right? Maybe maybe that's why you're still there. I don't know. Some of you. I feel like it's time it's time to deepen your practice, your spiritual practice. It's time for you to evolve. It's time for you to listen. Listen. Listen to your inner guide. You know what it's saying. If you don't listen, you're going to have major upheaval in your life. It's time to follow your own path. It's time to believe in yourself. It's time to believe in your own path. I feel like you guys are being divinely guided to go in a new direction. That's what I see. I see that you guys may shut down. I think that you may make a decision to shut down a relationship that has no more growth. You're probably going to be divinely guided that this is a false foundation. And it's time to take a new approach. This is a new partner, new sexual partner, new approach, new passion. This is saying go for it. Go after what you are passionate about. This is a new exciting opportunity waiting for you to take it. You have a new exciting opportunity for growth, expansion. And that's why this shift is happening. I think we have a we have a event that it has happened or it is about to happen that is happening to get you to go ahead to get you to follow your path and nobody else's to wake you up so Virgo I feel like you do have a new opportunity waiting for you to take it a lot of you you know have been stuck in a situation that has caused a lot of emptiness and, and seriously a lot of emptiness a lot of you know, feeling lost and alone. The universe sees that. And it's time for change. So I feel like they're gonna they're gonna bring in some sort of change that says, you know what? Now you're gonna do the right thing for you. Let's get one of these for Virgo. I think there's an ending in in the family or the work. There is. There is. I think that you've seen this coming for a while. You've been trying to avoid it, but mm -mm. I don't know. Change is coming. That's for darn sure. And it's divinely guided. Some of you are being called to work on your spiritual path, you know, to become a healer. To focus on your spiritual journey right now. To stop pushing it aside and to focus on that. But there's a person, I have to tell you, to be honest with you, that is hindering it. They're stealing your energy because you're not happy with that situation. It's the truth.
You have to listen and follow your path. Or you will have continued upheaval in your life until you do. We have a new uh, exciting opportunity to go after what you are passionate about. And for a lot of you, it has to do with the spiritual journey. I know that it does. You know, to follow your spiritual path. But some of you are just not listening. Help from above. Twenty-seven. Your positive intentions and heartfelt prayers have been heard. You are loved beyond your wildest dreams. Divine beings are working on your behalf to create the perfect circumstances for you to heal and open your heart. There is a higher order in timing to all things. You are being asked to work on your self-worth so that you can receive your greatest good in the form of incredible love. Life-transforming opportunities, healing, abundance, and divine inspiration. Keep asking for higher help and, and intervention in any area of your life. Then follow your intuition and lower your barriers. Let go of the notions of how divinity will bring you about your deepest heart's yearning. It may not be in the package you would expect, but it will be life-altering. Your heart is about to be challenged to open wider than ever before. That may require you to feel some fear and pain. Do not run away from this experience. Take steps forward with faith that your greater good is coming. And this is about faith and trust. Don't fight the plan. Whatever is happening, whatever needs to happen, allow it. This is divinely guided. Great love, what you are truly passionate about, is coming if you don't fight it. Let them do the work, basically. That's what this said. Let them do the work. They've got this. But for a lot of you, you keep fighting it. You keep trying to take the pen and control it. Something good is coming. Work on your self-worth during this time. And trust and have faith in the higher power because they hear you. They are removing something from your life that doesn't serve you. Let it go. Good luck. 